This is Todd. We're coming to you with a 2003 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD wheel bearing uh, 22 millimeters. What I use it to take off the uh, cover, and then we'll uh, use that to take the lug nuts off too. So we have the wheel off, and then we're going to. Uh, Take this cover off to get to a nut. I usually use a screwdriver and a hammer and tap along the edge and get this off. It takes a little work sometimes. We'll take the caliper off as an assembly with the bracket. You got a 21 millimeter socket here. Goes on the nut. These nuts are on pretty tight. So we'll use a good size breaker bar. Or impact gun actually to uh, take them off. I like to collapse the uh, caliper, stick a screwdriver in there, and work it a little bit to open it up a little bit. Just makes it easier to slide the caliper assembly back on the rotor when I put it back together. So we'll take the caliper off. <clears throat> when you see me back, we'll probably have the rotor off too. Here's my breaker bar. Do have some uh, Loctite on these dumb bolts, so <clears throat> loosen them up with the breaker bar. Then I have my gun, my wimpy air gun. We'll take them off the rest of the way. We'll take the caliper and we'll lay it up there and we'll tie it up with a bungee cord so it doesn't flop around. We'll also be taking the anti-lock brake harness here and we'll just pull it out of the holes here. Just take these all out and we'll just connect it up here because we'll get a new one. New hub assembly right there. So I use my hammer and uh, screwdriver here and got this pried out and then you can just work your screwdriver around and uh, pop it off. And we'll be taking that uh, large nut off there too. And then we have our four bolts in the back here, one, two. And of course there's two more on the other side and there are 15 millimeter bolts. They're torqued down to about 130 foot pounds. This is 170 some foot pounds on here. So again, we'll just get our breaker bar and uh, get it on there and break it loose. Actually, I have an impact gun for getting this off, so you can. Uh, it might be a good idea to leave the caliper and everything together take this cover off and have someone step on the brakes while you break that loose and or you can mount the tire back on and let the car down and then let the weight of the vehicle hold it in place and break that loose I just realized that not everyone's using air tools sorry about that and this is how you take this off Without Rodney.
Mm -hmm. All right, we got the nut off. I have a pretty handy socket. Uh, it's a one and seven sixteenths. Used for a lot of the big nuts. Got that nut off. And you may or may not be so lucky that the axle will move freely in there. If you have to tap on this or pound on it, I'd put the nut on there before you do. Don't damage the threads. And also, this is this is this has been coming apart pretty easy. But again, if it doesn't come apart too easy, I'm sorry to hear that. Spray some uh, penetrating lube in there, and then you can maybe use your uh, hammer. And tap on this on this side if you can get in there. It's a little trickier angle, but start pounding on it. Probably come off, but hopefully for you like me, it's uh, pretty much coming off almost on its own. Sometimes you can only dream it comes apart so easy. So we got it off. <clears throat> so let's make sure that goes on the right spot. And reverse procedure to install. And like I said, these are about 100. 25 foot pounds, the big nuts, 177 foot pounds for torque specs. Not sure what the caliper bolts are, but I put Loctite on there, blue Loctite, and they're supposed to be on there pretty tight too. <laughs> yeah, last week I had a shield, not like this one, but similar. Someone installed it backwards and it was rubbing on the uh, brake rotor, so I'm sure that won't happen to you. So we have all the new bolts. So we have the bolts started. We got the new assembly in here. Check that out. And uh, always recommend starting bolts by hand. If you need to go ahead and jiggle this a little bit. It might help to, uh, to turn the bolts in by hand. Here's the connector on the passenger side. It's covered up by a little bit of heat shield. But we managed to get it out of there. Small hole in the top. And uh, got it disconnected. So there's a connector up there, and we'll just reroute the new wires up there and then follow the path of the old wires. You see, I got the caliper strung up there. So, good luck with this job, and I hope it all comes apart easy for you.